nonsense! Okay, excuse me, miss, I am... I saw your poster recently. I read your ad in one of Playboy's latest magazines. Actually, I've read pretty much every need that half of you photography can feed me. But if you can believe me, I hate it. You're worth more than my brief moment of orgasm when I allow my mind to deceive me. And look, look, I'd like to be an open book. It's hard to admit that I took advantage of the desires God gave me. And I am not going to sugarcoat this. I feel hopeless, trapped in brokenness. I got lost, but what I never started in my life. I know as well as anybody, this is a difficult topic to be facing. A difficult confession for me to be making. But I'm stating that when God started, the molding, Shaping and creating us. You, and you, and you, and you were not designed to be the objects that men look at while masturbating. Baby, never forget! You were made for relating! I'm sick of failing and learning exactly what it is I'm saying! I apologize! It was never my intent to ruin lives, compromise, or feed the eyes something other than what was designed. Sometimes, though, I feed that indecency. Just kind of slide that magazine across the counter and do it quietly. I'm gonna shot my face to waste. The cashier can't see that it's me. Like, is that gonna be all for you today, sir? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to pay to become the opposite of what I want to be. I should have waited, dedicated to see the experience God had planned for me in the beginning. I am not patient enough to not give in to every sin for men to the hearts of men. I'm not patient enough not to give in. But there I go again. You know, I just apologized five, like five minutes ago. And that was, uh, I was after repenting for last night this morning. God, come on! What's going on? I'm sick of this. Somebody put some clothes on. You're better than this. God's most beautiful creation. I'm yeah. sitting here in the fork. Like I have the right to destroy it just because I don't have enough dedication to build a relationship with the one that can free me. So I resort to suffocation of my very foundation while claiming that I'm striving to meet the expectations of purity. <laughs> Jesus keep reassuring me. I yearn for covenant and eyes like Jones who deter their glances, stares at the computer screen like the images dancing across my pupils or his lifeless as the LED, piercing the darkness that I grovel in in my living room, lifeless while my wife lays in my bed in the next room asleep. You are the only one that can redeem the years the locusts have stolen from me. The years that I've let them feed. Jesus, I know you love me and you're going to have to be my strength. Yes. Keep reassuring her, the one in the center for me. Yes. The picture I'll remember until I grow old. She is human. You are human. You are bought and sold to a million empty souls feeling so hopeless that they'll do anything to fill that hole. I apologize. Please believe it's true. I never meant to hurt you.